Warning, the following gameplay you're about to witness is rated mature, 17 and older, for one or more of the following reasons listed. Please enjoy. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You're free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. 
Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's we'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. Cool. 10 minutes. What are we waiting for? Secure the area and get into the store. All right, now when you say secure the area, what are you talking about? Like the roads? The Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One oh. problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? Oh, hang on. Reconstruct the route. Gotta take out this guy. So use the scaffolding? Gotta find the right spot. Simulate? Let's see. Chone can be reached from right there. So how do I get up there? Check? Okay. Oh boy. Well, theoretically, I would jump and go up. Probably right there, right? No, 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 no. Guess we're going that way. That'd be too high. I need to get up to the scaffold first. Is there any other way? No, both of those are not gonna work. Well, shit. No other way, huh? Am I missing something? Yeah, just climb up. Yeah, those two options aren't gonna work though. Is there a third one? Damn it, is... oh. No, I already... oh my god. Is the scaffolding just gonna be a no-go? Oh, oh, hang on. Alternate route from here. There we go. And we'll get it. Cool. We'll do that. Huh. Be quick. Oh, I know it's low. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Got it. I'll plug her in real quick. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. Oh, thanks, North. We'll soon find out. Oh boy, what else is there? Uh, analyze the store. Was that the only thing to secure me? I, I gotta get inside? Hang on. What's all that over there, though? There's a bunch of stuff to see. Oh, scout the area, secure the area. What's the point of looking? Is that it? Because there's like all these shop- Alright, so what's down- Oh uh, boy, okay, okay, okay. What about right here? To commemorate the intention of androids. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad we're on the same page with that. Okay, I don't want to sacrifice too much time, so let's check out down here real quick. Like you said, gotta scout out the whole area. Freeing up the androids earlier saved us some time. Now what's this over here? What's that? Exactly what we need to ram this. The truck, yeah. Oh, I can sh oh, here we go, I can free these. I thought I heard shoveling. Convert. You're free now. It's like a disease. <laughs> Marcus has got the Ebolas. Oh boy.
Oh, nice. Secure the street. Perfect. There. Nobody should bother us now. Cool. And we're still scouting the area. Now for the truck, I can just go right up here, right? Or can I? Because we need that truck. Eight forty. Oh no, what's that? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can break that, surely. What are we waiting for? Yeah, right? Break the lock. No. Or scale the fence. All right. Woo! This makes us a worried couple now. Okay, now we're in. Cool. Let's get that truck out. Oh boy. Why do I need three buttons for that? That was weird. I wonder what oh. you'd do without me. What? Probably not have Simon get killed for starters. Alright. Huh. Oh, I forget it's plugged in for charging. Huh. Alright. Let's go! Check your plaza. Oh, crash into store. Alright, check the plaza first. I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. I don't think we did. Let's see. Just the storefront, right? Oh, what's that over there? Shit, hang on. Oh, I see there's something we're forgetting. Oh, two more guys down there. All right, let's free these guys real quick. Can I not? Shit, can I not? Hey, there's two androids down there. Oh well, guess I can't. I tried in my defense, like it wouldn't let me Oh, uh, whatever. Now it's just the door. Okay, we're good. Is there really no way to get down there? There's gotta be a way. I'll try around the corner just one more time. Yeah, I could just hop down and help them. Yeah, analyze the store window. I haven't even done that yet. I thought I was missing something. All right, what are we looking at here? System. I see a camera. What's the network going on about? Found it. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. All the cameras lead off. Oh, is it where the worker bots are? Oh, that would make sense. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. That's how I free them. I was wondering about that. It just wouldn't let me jump ahead to it yet. There we go. Hello. You are free. I'm doing my bidding. <laughs> You're awake now. Go to Jericho. So am I the only guy that can do that, or...? Oh boy. Probably the red wire, right? Grid function alarm network. Oh. Interloop, okay. I guess it'll also do the job. Nice. We're good to go then. Yeah. 
Nice job, Marcus. Hey, thanks, North. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Cool. Okay, let's go get the truck. Yeah, we're not missing anything else, I don't think. Nope, we're good. Just the trucker. All right, viva la revolution. Nice. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. You betcha. We just stay in the truck all night. It's like, no, we're good. <laughs> Our job here is done. Here we go. All line her up. God. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Oh, is that right? Calm down there, sister. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. Are we not wearing seatbelts? Terrible. Nice. We're in. All right, time to awake all the androids. Oh, the glass isn't crinkly when I step on it. You don't have to obey them. Nice. Awaken. All the androids. This is just one store. So far, things are going. Oh, well enough, pardon me. And then the ones back here. Oh, damn it, let me convert. Pardon me, sir. Oh, it's one of those models. Pardon me, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord? He just turns them all into Jehovah's Witnesses. Wouldn't that be something? Talk to them. Oh, boy. Where did I just go in the middle? Okay. Well, I can't go anywhere right now. Jeez. Okay, here we go. I'm your leader. You are free today. My name is Marcus. And just like you, I was a slave. Now I've got cool Objective. double zipper jackets. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. Huh. From this day forward, if you want can walk to. with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. Make your choice. It's up to you to decide. Uh, Marcus, Marcus. <laughs> I'm with you. Hey. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. Marcus. He wrote me into this. He wrote me into this. I'm with you. Oh boy. Hey, thanks, North. You're my friend now. Oh, Jericho's leader, officially. Then follow me. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. That statue? Be a pacifist or violent? Well, I say pacifist. Let's transform Capital Park. Decide our first act, be pacifist or violent. I want to be pacifistic. So what is, wait, what does that mean then? They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and oh, follow. Oh, tag, tag the benches. I gotcha, our symbol. Oh, oh, 
Uh, interesting. I like this one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, pacifistic. Tag all the benches. What else should we do? <laughs> what else should we do to the park? Are we still on a time limit, by the way? We are not. Okay. Window. Tag. Yeah, just tag it all. Don't destroy anything. We have a dream. I think, therefore, I am. One planet, two races, equal rights for Andrew. I think, therefore, I am. Let's do that. Nice. Get all poetic about it. Oh, wait, hang on. What can I do in there? Tag the window. Symbol is the symbol. Let's do the symbol up here. Yeah. If the public's on our side, they'll want to do. Ooh, ooh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, yeah, tag. Oh, and the slogan. Oh, here we go. Equal rights for androids. There we go. That's a really interesting way to tag something. Smoke bomb. Which is smoke, right? Yay, and all and smoke apparently, because that's how you do it. Keep spraying shit. Uh slogan. We have a dream. How about that? Cool. What can we do to the statue? Cause there's a lot we can do. But that statue's got to have something to do with it. All, all the smoke bombs. Oh, whoa, what was that? Whoa! The face to destroy, I'm guessing? Tag, yeah. Oh, nice. All over the body. Oh? We don't need masters anymore. We're free. Hey. Nice. Oh. A hundred percent pacifist. I like it. Nolan might not, but keep spraying shit. Ta hack. Oh, hack it. Nice. Whoa. Awesome. Yeah, all the android parking. Oh, all these too, yeah. Oh, street light? What are we doing with it? Oh. Is that it? We did a lot. Uh-oh. Why'd they all stop? We freed hundreds of our people. Oh. We did it. They're coming. Oh. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Everybody get out of here. Took them long enough. <laughs> we sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I do. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. We'll see. We're trying to do this in a nice uprising way. Whatever, she's still my friend. That's what matters, right? Oh. Marcus, get out of there. This way. Five. North. Oh shit. 
North, no shit, run boy. Oh my god. North. Holy shit. Right, what happened? North. They killed them. Holy they shit. Slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? By the cops? We need to be better, damn it. Oh boy. Someone got off a lot of shots though, jeez. Oh, shit, these guys. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Uh... Oh my god. Don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Spare. We're better than them. We are better than them. The world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. There you go. We'll be better. See, we'll be better than them. Nolan, North's not gonna like it. She's gonna hate me for it. But we're friends, right? <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast. Here we go. Breaking news. This just in: at exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Obscure. Please report that pro-android graffiti yes, supportive. was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? But they didn't kill them. become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Well, news can say whatever they want to, but the public opinion's overall supportive. Dude, 32%? Oh my god. Could've done a lot more, I guess. Marcus let a peaceful- send a message. Marcus did leave a peace- lead a peaceful protest. Nice. Oh, I made a statement. Cool. Now, in terms of the overall, I think she's like north a little bit down, but she's my friend, so that's good. Jericho's leader, companion of Josh and Simon. Because I'm pretty sure Simon's still alive, so... Thought he was, anyway. Alright, continue. Oh, we're going to the border now? Oh no, we're with... Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Oh, Hank's my friend! That's good. Yeah, I died saving, I remember. Remember when sex was safe and driving was risky? My god. Oh, he's wearing the same shirt. I like Hank. No matter what happens, you're staying alive. Still immortal, huh, Connor? Yeah. In a way. In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. <laughs> I want to get Fuck emotional. You. Aww. Damn it, no! Come on! Why did I say that? Uh... Instinct? I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Well, where are we? Oh. Oh shit, it's her! From the main menu screen. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Oh shit! Come in. The guy who created all of this. Okay. Interesting. 
Well. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Alright. Hank joined. Wait for the android. I'm not gonna sit. I'm gonna look around. Oh, is that Amanda? Yeah, it's Amanda and Kamsky. Okay. Amanda Stern. Born. Died? Wait. Is she an android too? Whoa, hang on. Died in 27. Wait. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, tech addict. Space tourism on the rise. What does this say? With the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is becoming a reality for those able to afford it. Luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three-hour orbit of the moon, affording spectacular views of Earth through a specially designed observation deck. As competition increases in this growing market, consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable. But consumers' rights activists are already decrying such boutique experiences as a sign of the widening social equality gap. Fascinating. What else? Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. What? Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops, one billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. <laughs> I don't know why it devolved into that at the end. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Interesting. I shall read more nice later. Girl. Uh, analytical, sincere, yeah. You're right. She's really pretty. Ooh, is that him then? Nice place. Yeah, it's gotta be Elijah Kamsky, right? Inventor Ethereum and the Bible. Androids computers. haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Nope. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. To right. How's it feel? Different. I don't know. Oh. Um, I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes <laughs> I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I bet. Well, it's been nice sitting, but... I feel like... Oh, there's something... Is there... And I'm just reading. Well, he's got to be here any second now. Why is it like there's like blank space in that photo, too? Oh! Oh, hello. Glad you will see you now. Very well. Oh, by all means, Hank, you lead. All right, time to get some information, maybe. Oh, wow. Mr. Yeah. Kamsky. Um, Just a moment, please. What is he over there in the corner? Oh, what? Oh my God. A very nice place, I suppose. Well, okay then. Get it in your laps for the day, huh? At least the water looks good. Can I do anything and talk to anybody? Or just wait to him to finish up his stuff? Oh. Well, you've changed from your photo, I think. Hello? <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. What? <laughs> deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? What if he was responsible for Perfect him? beings with infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. What if you are a robot? The machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. 
Isn't that ironic? Uh, a virus? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Yes? Whose side are you on? Um, direct? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Oh? What do you really want? Hmm. Troubled. What I want is not important. Hmm. Holy? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Here from the holiday. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Okay. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple. Are you gonna hurt her? Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? Oh boy. With a soul. Oh shit. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. I'm not gonna shoot her. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Oh, shit! Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Uh, oh, come on, damn. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here, important boy. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? I'm not gonna do it. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you wanna know. No, I'm not gonna shoot. Don't shoot. Yes! Fascinating. Was he gonna shoot her anyway? Oh? Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. Yes, deviant! <laughs> I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission? Yeah. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Yeah. Will you still tell me what I want to know? <laughs> a war is coming. Oh? You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? <laughs> right? Let's get out of here. By the way, oh, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Vague, but okay. <laughs> Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did 
did the right thing. <laughs> yes! Back up to being a friend. I gotcha, Hank. Yeah. Damn, skippy. Meet Kamsky. Well, what a meeting that was. Okay. Kinship. Ah, oh, so that could have gone a much different route. Alright, well... I did almost everything waiting for Kamsky. Oh, wait, Connor died in... Oh, Connor died in Public Enemy, so we waited for Hank. Okay, otherwise... Ah, yeah, true. Continue. We back with, uh... Marcus, or are we back with Kara? Because it's been a minute since we've seen Kara in the whole border situation. <laughs> Come on, it's revolution to lead. Oh, okay, wow. Detroit. Welcome to Detroit, Android City. That's some news article right here. Android riot. Interesting. What do you say? Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with cyber life stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. Uh, the worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness well, who we were asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, what else is there? The Eastern Space Race. Russia and China's androids face off. Uh, only two countries have Android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, with it continues to overtake the Western Hemisphere by leaps and bounds. Cyberlife's almost human model of Android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed Androids that reflect their national economies. Uh, big old space race, basically. They weren't able to emulate the blue blood model of the design. Russia's Android manufacturer relied on more traditional construction. Okay. China's androids use an alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation but greater efficiency. Interesting. Very interesting. Wait, walk off what now? Walk to the edge. Yeah, oh, is that my only option here? Enjoy some alone time. Play. <laughs> Becomes piano hero all of a sudden. Oh, I can piano. I'm just constant. I'm just doing the touchpad. Musically inclined. Oh, either way, you just end up walking to the edge. Good to know. Oh, don't push me, because I am close to. Hey, she's still my friend. I was wondering where you were. Waiting for you to find me. Think. I needed to think. I like it here. I like you I here. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Good. You seem preoccupied. Wonder why. Oh, followers. Uh, okay. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary. Yeah. At the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. 
The public's supportive. They're afraid of a civil war. Didn't you read the statistics? Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Determined. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Well. Truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. Hmm, companion. North's past. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? Come on. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sure you were probably like sex worker. Understanding. Trust. Trust. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I want. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm not sure I would have said it that way, but. Understanding. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Yeah. I was nothing. Oh, that the all in a distributor program to satisfy humans. I I called it, man. Yeah. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. I figured. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. You can see the snow collecting on them. That's so cool. And melting. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. Yeah, so okay. Just be like, you disgust me and walk away. I should have told you. No, dude. Connect. Oh. No. There you go. Oh. I what? Good or bad? Saw your memories. Lover. Oh shit! When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. Lover. Oh my god! I knew it. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Oh, she was the one in the eating club. Oh shit! North. Wait. So wait, she strangled. Wait, hang on. So did we chase the wrong people? Because if she was the one who strangled the guy in the Eden Club and she got away, I'm con I'm confuzzled. Oh well, we're lovers now apparently. Simon? Yes, he made it back. Yes, he's alive. That's great. Is he? How do you feel about me, though, buddy? You want a hug? Come on, hug it out, hug it out. Uh. Yes! So glad you're alive, buddy. In a way, with Connor fucking up, we helped Simon make it back home. And they didn't learn the location or anything. That's good. Jer- Yep, still the leader of Jericho. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. No. You don't understand. We're finally going to show that we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. Got to be brave and bold. Risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. What is the only way? Convert more androids. There are androids here who could join us. This is true. Androids in the ranks. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's start converting. The more we are, the stronger our message. Convert. You're awake now. You're free. I'm free. <laughs> this starts running down the hall. Free. Veronica. Oh, we're gonna march. Oh, yeah, that's very symbolic. Oh, I didn't see the guy over here. You know, I've been prisoner of war as a kid, so 
Hey, buddy, you're free. You're free. I'm free? Or Plus two converts. Let's see. Are there androids that I'm missing? Nah, he's walking away now. That's good. Yeah, we have the construction worker here. Should I go inside the stores, or... Can I? No, I can't. Oh, you, yeah. Come with us. Drops bag. That, there we go. Oh, there's one hiding right here. I'm assuming he's an android. You are not an android. I'm sorry. You are, though. You're awake now. Anybody else? Androids in the ranks. I feel like we're mi Nah, I feel like I got them all. Right? What about the guy on the bench over there? Well, let me just check real quick. Yeah, because he's like a. This guy's like a copy of that guy. Okay, so that's just the game designers being a little, a little lazy there. He's like a cl clone. All right, let's go outside and convert some more. Because there will be more out here. Block the road. After I convert more. Yes. You're free. We just do it with like four people. <laughs> hey, what? You think you're going? You get back here. You stay right here, you fucking machine. Convince. How about that? Shit, Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Oh, did that worked? Wait, that worked? Oh, is he gonna go tell someone now? Maybe. Holy shit! I need to block the street. Wait, don't block it yet. I need more people. Oh boy. More people. Oh shit, what do they do? Oh, they just. Oh my god. Hang on, I need to convert more. You're free. Oh damn. Oh boy. Oh jeez. I didn't realize they were going to start doing it already. Oh no. Yeah, right, keep honking. I got to do this. Hang on. Convert. You don't have to obey them. What about him? He, he does. You're free. I feel like I could get more though. Oh, this guy, yeah. You are free. Oh, well, she's going to stop him, isn't she? Well, maybe not. Are there any more? Yeah, there's gotta be more across the street. Oh, maybe not. Is that it? I think I got them all then. Let me check. I'm pretty sure I did. Convert more androids. I already have 10. I think I tagged all the ones that I could tag. Alright, let's get our brothers and sisters to join us. Help who? Oh, nice, more. <laughs> Does the same action again and again on the controller. Convert more androids. Okay. What, can I, can I, I don't even have to touch him now? You're free now. What? Since when? What? March, oh shit. You don't even gotta touch him anymore. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> what? Dude, oh, it's really cool. Plus 14. Oh, here we go. 
All I got is you, 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 and you get some. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's really cool. And you. Whoa. <laughs> Much, my brothers and sisters. Whoa. <laughs> that's really cool. We march together as one. That's rad. Yes. Oh, I just gotta tap it. Look at that. Tap. Oh my god. Look at the flick of the wrist. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, you and you. My reach. Oh my. Oh my god. All these androids. Holy shit, dude, look at that! That's so cool! Oh man. Yeah, peaceful march, that's all. We are, we are free. Oh my god. Yeah, you keep saying that. Oh, is that a cop? Hey. What's up? Disperse. Not gonna happen. Disperse immediately! Oh, That's wow. Not gonna happen. Raise hands. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. You're not gonna do it, dude. You're not gonna do it. Jesus fucking Christ. This bed's oh. uh, I got a lot of androids down here. Yeah. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. We are alive. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Oh my, oh my god. Fuck if I know. Oh, freedom. freedom. Holy shit. That's awesome. <laughs> we are the people. <laughs> it's really cool. That's oh, really cool. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna go one of two ways. Hmm. Shit. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. Yeah. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. That's smirk on his face. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. No. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Oh, I agree with that. Dying here won't solve anything. Oh, there's that too. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Oh, shit. I feel like they this will is shoot. This last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Disperse. I don't want anybody to die here. Disperse. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. Nobody needs to die. Oh shit. Disperse. Run! Run! Get out of here! Go! Ah oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, damn. No. Come on, Marcus. We gotta go. Ah, uh, shit, I should have held my ground. I should have held my ground. God damn, I was trying to, I was trying to make sure people didn't die. Oh my god, damn it. Funny, if Simon wasn't there, he wouldn't have influenced me. Marcus fled. Oh, there could have... Oh no! Some androids escaped. Run away. Sacrifice self. Charge. I want to sacrifice myself of anything. Shit. Uh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, fucking damn it. Everybody went down. Still admired by Jericho, but I'm not as much of a leader anymore. Shit. Alright, well, stay tuned for more fuck-ups in the next episode. <sighs> Goodbye, travelers.